Okay, so that was a bit of a frustrating end to the last episode, but we're right back here. Quicksword Rachel has just invaded, and I've decided that I'm not going to use the ladder. Instead, I'm going to jump down here. Visions of Beanpole. Get around behind him. Let's see what this is. More dried root. Tell me there's a hidden door here somewhere. God. Fine work, yes. I don't know why they really... I don't know why this is here. It seems like a very worthless secret. Maybe if I have a torch equipped. Or maybe it's just... Oh, oh, I get it. This guy was probably going to be an ambush who jumps down on top of you as you do the whole ladder mechanic. Let's see. Oh, you're buffing. You scumbag. Yeah, how do you like that? There we go. It did buff, but... Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I, this is an interesting chamber. I don't really trust all these doors. But, let's light them up anyway. Oh, and there's a drop over here. Let's be glad that I didn't come too far over. Yeah, seriously. Be wary of trap. Okay, so this is a trap. Come right on out. Oh, hello. That's not very nice. I know what I did to deserve that. No, no, no. You're not. You're not doing that today. Okay, so that's an actual ladder down. See what all these other doors are. Probably going to be traps as well. Yep, as expected. Let them crawl into the room proper before I give them the welcoming. Swing, swing. Swing, swing, swing. It takes a bit extra durability, so I'm probably going to start using a different. Move setup. Oh, okay. It's just a doors to the same chamber, which means these two are probably going to be doors to the same chamber. And stabbing in the back. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, message, because this would have got me no problem. Recollection and some twinkling. Let's see what recollection is. It's not a pyromancy. Really? What? It, what is it? What is this recollection? Um, is it a ring? It's not a ring. An item, a, a, a weapon, mayhap? You know, I don't know. That's frustrating. Anything? Anything? Huh. Well, that's certainly strange. I'll probably figure it out a little bit later, but, uh... Recollect... Maybe it's a key item. No? That is really strange. I would have assumed it to be a miracle, but... No dice. 
That's really weird. Maybe it's a shield. No, it's not a shield either, is it? No, it can't be. It's not one of those. It's got to be something. I'll find it later, but that's that's really weird. This is probably going to be a very similar ambush to the others. It is. Let him enter the room. Oh, humbug. You have fun. You're the bomb. Let's see, anything else in here? Nope, it's just him, so... That's this whole location. I'm still wondering what that recollection is. It's such a strange name. It really sounds like a spell. Oh, he was trying to cheese something, and clearly it didn't work for him. Oh. Be wary of enemy horde. Oh, please tell me they're all exploders. Please tell me they're all exploders. Called it. Let's see. How do I want to approach this? With firebombs. Yeah. That was the right idea. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Ow. Oh, God. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this was a bad idea. Come on, jump after me. Oh. Oh dear. Have fun, guys. Feel free to explode yourselves. I won't judge. Yeah. See, fire was totally the right idea. I don't know why you even doubted me. Okay. That's my scorching iron scepter. I believe there is one more of these guys back here. Yeah. One of them survived, and I don't want him coming up on my tail. So I'll get him to deal with himself. Very nice. Interesting encounter. I also have my Scorching Iron Scepter. I could Homeward Bone out of here, but... I'm so far through, I would feel cheap. I really feel like I should be able to backstab these guys. No such luck, but I want it. Be wary of enemies. So there's going to be something coming up here. Let's see if I can get a sneak peek. Anything? Yeah, it's definitely going to be lowering us into the curse area. Oh! It's coming from above. That makes me a lot happier. Bingo. See, how much weapon durability has this been? Almost a full 70. This place is pretty harsh on your weapon. That's just to make sure you don't get stuck here. It's over here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like it. Oh! That's why that's there. Okay, I like that. That's nice. That's real nice of him. I'm trying to remember where the bonfire was. Was it through here? No, probably wasn't. Curious as to what these are even here for. Can I break them? Nope, but they do burn me, so let's avoid that. Let's head back across, because I believe there was actually a bonfire this side. Hurrah for danger zone. And it was. It was indeed. Come back up, and the bonfire should be really close to this first area. Yeah, here we are. This is the third bonfire out of the five. 
Yeah, it is the third. That leaves two locations for us, at least as far as I've gathered. There's this little mechanism right here, which is probably going to activate an elevator of sorts. Hopefully it'll lead us up to some of those things up there. That definitely looks like it's intentional. Oh, that was cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like the... Oh, no, I don't want to go down. This guy... This guy kind of just hangs. He's just chilling. This guy looks to go down and then up. Maybe it's this guy. Yeah. I, I knew that these would be important at one time or another. Looks like we finally set them up proper. Are there actually things down there? What a scary thought. But let's hop aboard and see where this takes me. I'm curious as to why that's just kind of mid-level. Ditch this. No, no, let's get back on. Can I make a jump? I can make a jump. Okay. Come on, pull me up. There we are. Oh, no, 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 no. Visions of sadness ahead. Mm, bright bugs, that's nice. Thing over here? No, it's just a. It's just that. Oh, oh god. You know, I don't really want to risk this. Let's let's just go back to the bonfire. It's right there. We can come back easily, no problem. That trough there should actually bring us to another secret, if I'm not mistaken. Because there was one of those uh, ashen effigy looking things way back up there at the near the first area in this level so this probably leads us there Let's see how far up it goes there's that secret which was rather nice not a secret here anything of import oh it's this area but this is finally working where does this take us? Oh, it takes us here? Which has what exactly? It has death. Abundant amounts of death. That doesn't look like it's going out of fashion anytime soon, so... Oh! Well, okay then. Uh, oh dear. That is an interesting mechanic. <laughs> but I'll take it. Plink. That activates that. Allows me to get the Radiant Life Gems. I can get the hell out of Dodge. And I should be able to sneak on through if I get a roll in there and activate. Oh, that's blindingly bright. Why is it blind blindingly bright? Because there's an item. Simpleton's ring. Uh, what?
makes swear invisible while rolling? Ring depicts a simpleton's flower. Where becomes invisible while rolling. The ring was worn by the soldiers of the old Iron King, said to be blessed with divine protection. The ring only does one thing, but with ingenuity it can be fearsomely effective. And I'm going to have to go through that, so in case I don't make... Okay, I was worried about nothing. Let's stick back to the classics. Because I haven't gotten any interesting or use... Oh, that's it? Really? That's kind of lackluster. There's still at least two or three areas that I know of that I can't reach just yet, so... I'm gonna want to head to... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, let's, let's try that again. But let's try and do it proper this time. Come out swinging, as it were. No, no, no. You don't get to do anything. I said so. You, I'm fine. I'll just take one of your arrows and then I'll be gone. Wait for this. What is that over there? This looks interesting. As all get go. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. There looks to be another one, or at least something. Oh, ow. I mistimed that. Oh, it's... Vengarl set. Don't underestimate it. If I can swing her... Ow. Ow. Totally worth. I knew I could make the proper trade. But it was risky. What is... Is that just like a warmth effect? I don't know. And I don't trust it. But... Let's start opening doors. Door number one. Nothing. Let's see what's behind door number two. Plenty of stuff. But I'm not sure I trust it. Bunch of upgrades. Petrified something. And a broadsword plus seven. Broadsword's a really good sword. Very underrated. There are no bloodstains, so I guess I shouldn't expect a mimic. Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking like they've just forgotten mimics even exist. Life ring plus three. That might actually be worthwhile. Because all the other life rings aren't, but... If they've made a plus three version, it probably has enough to actually be worth something after all. Oh, that's nice. And yeah, I can almost guarantee you that this is just a warmth effect for the uh, big bad that we saw a little bit ago. Yeah. That is a creepy looking effigy. Soul of Nadalia. I believe that brings us to four out of six. That's good to see. Let's head all the way down with this. Cause I remember there being an elevator that looked like it was going to lead to a... Uh... Oh, what is that? What do we have here? It is... Pilgrim Spawn Toon? What? <laughs> I can almost guarantee you this... Yeah. Oh, wow, that is dark. Spontoon used by warriors on pilgrimage. Rather worn from the long journey, it's doubtless seen. A spear which doubles as a catalyst for sorceries, making it an ideal choice for light-footed pilgrims. It has pretty slow cast speed, but I could see that being extremely effective, especially because it has no physical attribute. The only problem with mixing physical and elemental damage is that uh, f physical actually scales... Oh, I could probably jump to that, too. Physical 
doesn't have linear scaling. So if you do a hundred damage or have a hundred attack rating, you may oh dear. You may only do uh, 10 damage, whereas 200 attack da rating will give you about 60 damage or so. These are made up numbers, but it's just to demonstrate the point. It's a matter of physical damage scales where uh, larger amounts penetrate armor better, while elemental damage just cuts right through, so, and it's just a flat percentage off the top. So the point of that is that if you're mixing both physical and elemental damage, then you're getting suboptimal physical damage for your investment into the weapon. So, oh, oh dear, this was a bad idea. But a weapon that has mixed damage that's all elemental doesn't have that problem because it's just two percentage, uh, percentages right off the top it's not the same system and so it's affected differently yeah I need to go through here and I'm gonna take it but it's just a quick run through and so I can actually imagine that that spawn tune is going to do great things for certain builds especially high int uh, what should we call them high int dark builds I remember that there was something. Opens from this side. Oh, this place. Hmm. Believe I took the thing out that was down there, but there's got to be some way to kill that guy. I feel like there has to be. So let's run on over and see what we can see. You come over here can clearly see that there is a passageway over there that looks like it should connect here and it probably does via this but this door doesn't open from this side could it be that I need to make an explosion because I do see some barrels behind him and I do see a break right here is this the trick? Okay, let's 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 aim that properly. It's a little bit tricky. Pretty sure I can get it. Uh, did that do anything? Anything? No. No, it's a trap. Really. Oh! Oh! It breaks the barricade! See, I knew there was a way to do it. Okay, that's really cool. It doesn't open from the side because there's something reinforcing it. But if you break the barricade, then there's nothing there anymore. Oh, that was almost dangerous. I really don't know what those are, but it actually looks kind of similar to the Sanctum Knight to a certain extent, especially the helmet, but I believe that's just a uh, coincidence. Okay, this is the elevator I want, if I'm not mistaken. This should be the one that takes me to the uh, Ash Effigy further up in the level. And, of course, the last Effigy is going to be in the... Uh what?! Oh, okay. I was going to say, there's... really? So, maybe the key is in the cursed dark area, but... Don't know just yet. We're going to have to see about that. Some cool architecture, i got to admit. And we come on through. A few of those explody guys. Let's get rid of these so he can't do anything to me. Oh, no, I probably should have exploded those. Those look like they would open something up. I'll have to come back and... Oh! Stop it. Stop it, you. Here we are. Oh, what? Can I just not stagger you at all? I 
maybe it wouldn't have activated anything. Hmm. But that is all of our fire bombs. I suppose next time I'm at a bonfire, I can just attune a fireball spell. That sounds like the best way of handling this. Lacerating knife. Wonder if they're actually going to give you a vendor for lacerating arrows. I honestly don't consider it all too likely. I can sacrifice the health. I really feel like there should be something here. Hurrah for rolling. I've got Estus for it, so... I'd much rather check for secrets than have extra health and casts of combustion. When are those going to come in handy in this level? That's just it, they're not. One, three. Oh, I, I did break those, so I don't have the option. Okay, let's continue onwards and see what's a little bit up ahead. More of the same. Whiff. <laughs> Whiff horribly. Oh god. There's a lot of those archer fellas. So, what better way to handle that than get my health lower than it needs to be? Do I have any? I don't have any forms of ranged attack as I'm playing a gimmick. Really? Neither of them dead? What on... Oh dear, this is... This is not good. Luckily, they're all trying to take me on in melee combat, which gives me a bit of an... edge. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I, I really should have been paying a little bit more attention there. I saw it, and I was thinking about it, but I thought I would have enough iframes to roll through it, and clearly, that was not the case. Well, that was just my first death of the entire DLC, so that's that's heartening. I'm all the way down to uh, two more effigies left, two out of six, so no, this is not the right way. I always get confused coming out of this bonfire. I believe it's, yeah, right through here. And through the den of the lions. But I make it through. Oh, I told myself that I should attune combustion, and then I didn't attune combustion. I mean, fireball. Here we are. Let's jump on over. This is the place. Because I haven't seen any worthwhile drops coming from them just yet, let's attune that. Oh! Is that door a secret, or is that door down there just uh, what you would have to do if you couldn't use this? I don't know, that's something to keep in mind. You may want to double check that. Oh my god. Why do I even bother? This guy is just the most annoying enemy in the game. Honestly. Just like the uh, Drake Blood Knights were the most annoying enemies from the first DLC, I think that I'm pretty certain that these Archer Burning Sword guys are going to be the most annoying enemies from this DLC. Can honestly not see another way of it breaking down. Come on. Come on. Come on. How does that not stagger them? That's the two-handed strong attack for crying out loud. And it doesn't stagger them, so... Let's try that again. But I don't need to effigy up this time because I was smart and expected death. I swear to God, this will be the last time because now I know exactly how they're going to pull it out on me. I know what to expect. I've had enough. Ooh, that was, that was a scary fall. Not here, but here we are. Because I don't have any souls up there, let's actually check what's down here. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, you're kidding. It's just it's just this guy. Ah, uh, well. Back to the bonfire. God, this place is a really, really convoluted design. I like it, but it's very strange and difficult to really keep together in your head. It's all these twists and turns and... Oh, before I go, I'm going to play smart. Like, get rid of that and actually attune a regular fireball so I can stop worrying about the fact that I'm out of... Oh, I can just dash through? Wonderful. The fact that I'm out of fire bombs. Take this. Come on over. And now this should be the successful run. I know exactly what's going on this time. I know exactly how I'm going to be taking it on. Now it's just a matter of the execution. Hopefully, I can get off the damage I need in the proper time frame, but uh, we're going to have to see. Come on, three hit combo does not kill that guy. What is he made of? Titanium? Want to have as much health as possible for this next encounter? Yeah, and we go. I don't think they've aggroed yet. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no. No, probably is not going to work. Just get as much damage off as possible right there. God, no, no, no. I never wanted this. I don't want this. It's been fun. Been fun, everybody. Really? Really? Thank you. Lure them through the fire because... While they look like they should be, they are not actually immune to it. God, stupid game. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now, we can take on the rest of this area at my leisure. Turns out I need a little bit of accuracy for that. A little bit of accuracy for that. Nothing. Ooh. Let's see what we have here. A little reward you shouldn't have. More smelter wedges. Ah, oh, I was so enthused. I thought that we were just about done. I should have known. And I don't have the key for that lock, so I believe the last place left to us is either going to be way earlier in the level or it's going to be... No, no, I th there is down in the level. I hadn't considered that. So let's back to the bonfire and actually head that way. I am going to need some sort of key to face that last little effigy up here. And I don't have one at the moment, so I'm SOL. Into the foyer! Oh, that's something to note. I'm going to want to check the uh, names of the bonfires I've unlocked so far once I get here. There's the foyer, the throne floor, and the upper floor. Nothing too terribly interesting. Get over the hump. Considering that the only other place I know is basically guaranteed curse, I want to come here first. This sounds like a better idea, in my opinion. Okay, so it just drops down to this first level. Try behind. Yeah. Oh. There's more of these. To go even for... Oh. 
Oh, that's uh interesting. Could that be what it meant by dry water? Ash flowing as though it were? That could be an interesting idea. You're not doing anything. Don't even think about it. Oh! Okay, guys. Uh, how about you guys stay over there, and I'll stay over here. You know you want to. You know you want to. Touch it. Touch it. Yeah. Any secrets on the sides? Eh, worth checking. Oh, this was this the broad expanse that I saw from earlier in the level. Let's get out of the way of that. Ah, oh, I hate that. There we go. I really want those guys to drop that. Just because it looks like a really cool and interesting weapon. Here we are. It's just a soul. <laughs> really? Double whiff? I think the uh, fire spewing from its joints... Oh, look at that axe! is a, uh, the fire spewing from its joints are a little bit of an incentive not to uh, circle around him because he would very clearly be weak to that. Don't give up, Hollow. Oh, Tower Key! That's cool. That's something I'm going to want to see where I use that because there's, there's several places where that could actually be used. And I don't know which it is just yet. What? There is some actual rumble there. As if there was something bigger than just this guy. Because I haven't had one of these guys trigger any rumble yet. Get a little bit scorched. I do like that the hitbox on that is far more exact than the giants of the base game. I was worried that he was just going to have the same move set and just be kind of a reskin of a giant, but no, they, they weren't that lazy. And so we actually have some cool enemies here. This was a very, very worthwhile place. Lots and lots of great loot. I like it. Is that everything? Dark spot ahead. <laughs> a little crevice. Okay. That should be everything here. I just kind of want to look over here, make sure there's not anything I can jump down to. There is not. You can see by the horrible texture quality that this is not really something you should be looking at. A little bit of a little bit of graphical problems, but that's all for this place. Let's see if that little key I just got is going to lead me straight on through to the door on the other side of this, or whether or not it's for use further up in the tower. Hopefully both. Yeah, tower key. They look like similar door, door designs, so it's entirely possible that it's used in both areas. Let's, let's actually read its description. Key that opens the door to Broom Tower. Long ago, the tower used to produce a seemingly endless supply of iron. The king used it to create iron soldiers and an iron castle. Legend has that he even tried his hand at forging a dragon out of iron. Fuck me. An iron dragon. When legend has something, legend is true. Something to remember. Oh. I can wait. Don't worry. I'll, I'll catch the next one. Yeah, it definitely looks as if that ash is what it's talking about by... Dry. Wow, this is a really, really vertical level. Holy cow. You see, this is something straight out of Dark Souls 1. And it's fantastic. God, I am so proud of From Software with their DLC. They really stepped it up a notch. They saw the problems that were in the base game, and they gave you something bunch of really cool and interesting ca oh 
Oh, well, hello. Is this its... Oh, it is! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember the last time we saw... Oh, look at those signs. Oh, there's a boss coming up. Something tells me it's either going to be another gank or flame lurker. I don't... Wait, 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 wait. Don't you dare, in short, think... Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. I bet you anything it unleashes all of these prisoners. Is that a petrified fire lizard? That's cool. But there was... There's, there's loot here, so, uh... Think carefully all I want. It's gonna happen. Let's check down this side first. And that side's a drop, so... We're pulling it. I was careful, but there's treasure in this trap. So I must get it anyway. Oh! Oh, that's... That's not very nice. That is not very nice at all. That is really cool. I wonder if it's just a time thing, like after you trigger it, or whether it's an actual proximity sense, like the lizards are. Swing. Swing. Oh god. Stamina management. What's that? There we go. Really? No drops? I mean, it's better than them just dropping a battle axe. Want to make sure there are no passageways down these. The floor looks really cool. I had to do it. Seven large Titanite shards. God. They're handing out the shards like they're candy. Well, I'm kind of okay with that. What's this? Be wary of man. Oh! Oh! An actual NPC? Or is that just... It's an astrologist by the looks of it. Oh, wait. Is it? I don't know. I could be wrong. The robes are certainly interesting looking. And... It... It looks... Like... There's a pendulum on his chest. I was trying to see whether or not that was the astrologist symbol. Or... Okay. I think I see what it is. It's actual, it's a tassel from the astrologist robes that's swaying in whatever breeze seems to be affecting his armor. It's kind of strange that there's a breeze in here, but, you know, it's not perfect. It's a little bit chanky. I can deal with it. Let's see. Try luring it out and then eliminating one at a time. Okay, that's a, that's a pro. Oh. oh. I said oh. And then I realize it's just these guys. Is that a... Is that a halberd? That's a halberd! It's cool, I like it. And yeah, of course, if you're gonna face a horde of these guys, it is just a matter of lure them out one at a time. How do I get that item? Okay, it looks like it's on a path from further back in the area. Roll out. These guys I can't kill in a single jumping attack, so it's easier just to get a backstab. This guy... Oh, that was a bad idea. I would meant... Oh, hang on. Okay. There we go. I need to make sure I was safe to Estes there. Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to have to come in from that side, but there's no access to that from here, so further down we go. There's no option. Okay. Oh, by the fact that they Oh! No, you don't. By the fact that there is another astrologist up there, that leads me to believe that those guys are actually going to be... Yep. Yep, those are enemies. God. I'm aggroing way too many at once. This is this is pretty bad. 
Oh, it used uh, Promised Walk of Peace on me. I was wondering why I was fat rolling. Hang on. Hang on. Nope. Any drops? Any drops? No. But at least they're nice and don't just have them wait at range. I'm, I'm burning through these Estus flasks. That's not good. God, there's just nothing to be done about them. Is there any way up? No. How do I... <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you not? Thank you. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna... There's gonna be an alternate path leading through here at one point, because... Now, oh, there's that promised walk of peace again. You can still sprint, so that's good. No, you don't. I'm having none of your crap. Range... Oh, my God. Stop it. Please. Oh, hello. God, they're just snipers. Finally making me use my life gems. Oh. Let's get some flame weapon going on just for the extra bit of damage in this fight. I know it's not going to amount to much, but something's better than nothing, right? God, that better not be a boss fight. What sucks is that I know it's not a bonfire through there. Which is really what I need at this point, because there have been a lot of encounters. A lot more than usual. Kill shot. Get out of the way. Oh my god. Stop it. I just... I wish I had a legitimate ranged attack so badly. Yeah, there's definitely a path that goes through this level that allows you to get all that. This place again? It's... what? Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Hello, smelter. Nope. Nope. Oh, shit. <sighs> this isn't going to be fun. I always... Smelter Demon is my just least favorite enemy in the entire game. Not, not in the entire game, but I, I really hate the Smelter Demon fight. And now it's back and ready for more. And I'm doing very low damage. This isn't fun. Why am I doing this? God, please poison it, please poison it, please poison it, please poison it. There we go, I've got the poison. Get the Estus. Oh my god, my Estus count is nothing. At least I got the poison off. No oh, balls. Oh, the delay. Smelter, please. Okay. That was a good trade. I'll take it. This is bad. Okay, it works. Rolls. Get my swing off. Roll. Oh, ow. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm out of Estus, so, uh. Yay. Roll. One. I believe it takes four. Oh, no, no! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks, Smelty. Looks like I'm going just regular combat. Oh, 
but I will take it. No, nope. no, nope. not doing it, not doing it, Smelty. Ow. One more hit should kill me. So, but two more hits should kill him. And this is my chance. Yeah. God, that was intense. It's because it dragged me through the whole level. Just another smelter demon soul? Really? Really? Such BM. God. Is it really just another smelter demon soul? You kidding me? And there's an art just fucking stop. Let's say joy. You know, if they were really sadistic, they would have immediately had a pursuer fight right afterwards as well. Stop! Stop! Just make it stop. God, this level is really long. This is kind of out of the usual for FromSoft. I just, I just wrecked my supply of life gems. I had been like over 80 when I started this level and now I'm down to like 66 goodness I'm sure it would be a much easier area on any sort of caster or someone with a bow someone who could actually do range combat but that's not me so Faros mask oh oh what oh what mask depicting Faros's contraption Tears flow from the eyes of this mask, drenching its wear. The majority of Faros's creations are perplexing to reasoned men, and this mask is no exception. <laughs> it's almost like the mask of the father. Does it, act, does it alter your stats in any way? Hmm. Nothing I can see. Nothing I can see, so I don't know, but that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a nice throwback. This is a... Uh, I don't know. I was hoping that was going to give us a little bit of lore on Pharos, but no such luck. Fine work, but pointly... You're kidding me! You're... Oh my god! You are kidding me! The entire area is optional. But, that also tells me that there is some way to... Oh! Oh, I think I know what it is. Hmm. This door at the end here is only going to be open for the first little bit, so either I need to pull it twice, which I don't actually think is going to work, or I just have to dash through all of them. Maybe it will reset at the end, I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Come on! Don't clip through like half of the enemies in your way. Yeah, I can. This is the edge of their aggro radius, so I can just abuse their behavior at the edge here. No big deal. Let's see, and you can't pull it again, so it is a matter of. Pull it once and then be prepared to just go. Aged feather on out of here. So I can just refill all that and try this again. I suspected that that would be the case, but now I've proved it. This is just going to be a quick little dashing problem. Open her on up. And as soon as... Oh, it didn't trigger. Let's 
Let's go. Ow. Be wary of man. Promise walk of peace. Nope. I can fat roll through it. You're gonna hide behind your shield, I'm gonna guard break you, and that's game for you. Black Hollow Mage Hood. That's nice to see. Now, there's two exits from here. Haha! -ha. See, I knew it. There is an alternate path through the level that's gonna take you through all the loot. I knew! I knew they wouldn't do that to you. And in fact, this is probably a much better path in for not only all the loot, but it's also going to spare you most of the damage you're going to be taking from all the ranged enemies throughout the area. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So we came from there, which means there's a head, which is just the same mechanic. There's loot here, so I'm going to gonna have to stall out going through there, but I can come through here another time. It's okay. And what's down this path? Anything? Anything? Okay, it's a drop. So that'll be something I'll try once I've triggered this. Be ready to aged feather depending upon what it is. It's still very frustrating that that whole, this whole side area is completely optional and just gives you another smelter soul. Yeah, I will take it. There's only one of you that I'm focusing on. That jumping attack is worthless. Double kill. That was nice. Here we are. What's this? Simpleton Spice, always worth it. And here we are. Just some torches, really? That's all you're going to give me for torches and simple and spice? I'll take it. And let's see what the drop heads to. It's definitely a survivable drop. This little corner. Anything of import? Okay, so it's... It's the bottom level of this encounter. Because that top level is probably going to be for if you actually went through the uh, proper jump. Oh, he still wants me. And I'm more than willing to give him the opportunity. Because he is really squish. I'm kind of sad that they don't make him wear the wizard hat. The wizard hat's pretty cool looking. Come down here. Got another one of these guys. And yeah, this is just a direct path to smelter at this point. Which means I've got to go through one more time. God, I'm raking in a rather large amount of souls. Why would I ask this here? I'm at the bonfire for crying out loud. But yeah, no, this this is a really cool area. I like it because it's entirely optional, but it's got a lot of loot. My one problem with it is that it takes multiple clears, and that's just something that from software does on occasion. I don't like it. Ow. Ow. I back, I'm backing off. I failed this run. We, we can try again later. Let's, let's head on out. I don't want this. I guess that these grave signs are kind of their hallmark of uh, optional content. Like, this is optional. You don't, you don't need to pass through here. Just as with the uh, gank boss fight in the last DLC, this, is, this looks to be, at least, a, an entirely optional side area. That just has some loot and some, um, well, a really nostalgic boss. Smelter Demon is one of the more iconic boss fights from the base game. No, 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 I, 
I was so close. <laughs> ah, okay. It's it is the tr the timing is really tricky, especially with those massive fireballs coming at you. So it's it's not like this is a very cut and dry thing. I'm sure, with a little practice, I can get it down to be much more consistent. But I don't have a lot of practice at this point, so I'm really just flying it blind. Let's get the other ring of life protection. Cueing myself on up as well. I'm not going to need that sliver of life, so let's go back at it. Once I full clear this optional area, I think that'll be it for the episode. Seems like it'll be a nice place to cut it. A very final note to the content. Oh dear, I think I missed it. I missed my opportunity. God! I don't know how I did it so easily that first time. This is starting to get frustrating. I just want to get through, but I, I think I included a jump attack, a jumping roll to the side at one point. I think that'll help. I have my third dragon ring. I've got my chloranthi. Is there any other way to uh, do it? Could make a royal soldier ring just for the fastest run possible completely reduce my equip weight as much as fees as I feasibly can, but uh, let's try this again. There we go. There we go. The real trick is the jumping roll. Depending upon how you execute it, it, it really just saves your butt as you head through. So. On to the next one. No, no, oh. Oh, that is a really cool spell. Have fun. That is really cool. I like that. It's kind of like Heavenly Thunder version 2.0. This again. Let's once more equip the Royal Stroke. I forgot. There's one of these guys in here. He's stealth when you first come in, and he kind of camouflages rather nicely, so it's easy to miss. Another sprint. Or not. Let's try that again, buddy. Here we are. And we go. No. No, 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 no. Age feather on out. Oh, that's the poise for ya. That is some of that really great Vengar poise. Honestly, that probably should have staggered me, but I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Goodness. This is getting a little bit repetitive, but I really, really want to. Maybe if I try timing my rolls precisely. There's, there's got to be some sort of trick to it. I just haven't mastered it yet. Ow. There we go. You can promise to walk all you want. I'm still going to get the backstab. Or just the backslash, but that's fine with me, too. Oh, they dropped Kytha's Chime. That's really cool. That is really cool. I like that. This is the first place in the game you can get Kythus Chime. Because normally you'd get Kythus Chime way later in the base game. Oh, fuck it. We're just going. Okay. I thought I'd actually triggered it, but no such luck. I'm pretty sure that they're the enemies the uh, invisible roll ring is based off of. The simpleton's ring. So, that's cool. I thought I'd actually triggered it, but apparently not. Here we are. Save the stamina for the last stretch. Oh, no, no. Oh, goodness. I thought that they were body blocking me for a second there. I was like, crap. That was going to be really depressing. Have fun down there. Can't get me, can't get me. Neener, neener, neener. Okay, it's, that's just for this guy. And this area over here. 
Is, is, do, do I trust the drop? I don't think I do. There's only two exits, so... And since this is a dead end, is it a dead end? Is there any jumps I can make? No, this is definitely a dead end, so... I've got to trust for the drop. A little stagger drop. Save my health bar. Yes, yes, this is what I was looking for. Oh, come on. You're kidding. And the promised walk of peace. Really. Just stack all the evil on top. Old growth balm and cracked red eye orbs, really? That's... That's all this was for? All those frustrating, frustrating runs? Okay. Well, we're at the end, so... Is that the one for... <laughs> oh, that lightning. That was funny. I was like, I can just walk out of the way of this. It'll be fine. Nope. Not actually the case. Okay. Back to my regular equipment. I want to kill this guy before heading out, just in case he gives me a drop. Like, look at that axe. How cool would that be if I could actually get that? And it inflicts bleeding. That's so cool. Because of all the blades on it. That's a really nice touch. God, just boiling lava everywhere. I can deal with it though. Time to aged feather on out. And that should be it for this episode. Goodness, this DLC. I am loving it. There's so much great about this. That last little encounter, a little bit of a bait and switch, makes me kind of sad that they make you do all that work again just for a. Uh, just for some cracked red eye orbs and some balm, but hey, I need it. I'm a loot whore. I need it. It's got to have it. So thank you so much for watching, and I really look forward to making my way through the rest of the DLC. See you all next time.